Well, hello, welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. Chrissy here. We're gonna do a little bit of tidying up of the fence line. This is the backside of our 17 acre goat paddock and we have the field fence as you can see, but look how grown up it is. So this driveway goes down about a quarter of a mile. So I need to start working on this and cleaning it up because all these little tiny oak trees are growing up. I don't want them to grow in my fence line. We're gonna keep the fence line clear. We need to do that so it doesn't ever grow up into the fence because that would be just a disaster trying to get it out. It would ruin the fence. We'd have to buy a new fence. It would just be a mess. Easier to do a little prevention than have to worry about the problem afterwards. Not sure how long it's gonna take, but let's get started. Today, we're gonna be using our steel FS131R gas brush cutter. We decided to add the heavy brush knife. It's a heavy duty cutting blade. It's actually called the Tri-Blade Steel Brush Cutting Attachment and it goes through grass, reeds, and light scrubs. It is truly the best tool to have on the homestead. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my weed eater. Now this has the metal blade for mulching. This is what I'm gonna use to knock down all the saplings. So let's get this baby started up. start over. I did it by myself. All I had to do was hold in these two pieces while I pulled the string. And now it's working. Let's get to work. Now I can put it on. Get it all ready. Let's go. Brush cutter doesn't seem very sharp, so I'm gonna actually take it up to Jeremy and have him sharpen it up for me. So dull that they're smooth and soft. What are you gonna do there, Daddy? We'll try to sharpen them. One. I was about to get rid of all that new growth and what I found was new blackberries and grapevines. So I left them. Woo! Here they are. Those are wild table grapes. They grow all over the property. And then this is wild blackberry. So I thought I was clearing everything down the driveway, but Jeremy told me all I needed to do was the saplings. So that's going to save a lot of work. Let's find some cut down.
think I'm in the home stretch. Let's get this done. Fifteen minutes took me to do half the driveway. That's not bad. My hands are killing me. Ugh. I can't even barely open them and close them. I can't wait to get this thing off. This is heavy, but it does a great job. Let's check out everything that I did. So it looks like I didn't get this, but Jeremy came down in a little red car when I was halfway back and said, babe, just do the top side closest to the paddock. I'll take care of the actual creek bed and the outer piece with the bobcat. So I left this. I did do a lot down there because I think I kind of got cut happy. Kind of like I do when you start doing something that's automated, you kind of are enjoying it. It's kind of satisfying. I just left a little bit for him. It's okay. Let's see what else. This is one of a few trees that are just too thick for me to cut with the weed eater. But this whole area right here, I cleared completely on the top part. Well, as you can see, I knocked down all the saplings on the whole front driveway. It was a lot more work than I thought. The weed eater's heavy, but I at least got it done. Good for another year. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that little dingle bell too. It'll alert you every single time I upload a new video. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great night. Bye-bye.